So in the first verse, the very first thing I want you to highlight is the word factor. We're going to do two days of factoring, and then we're going to take a break from the algebra and go to some eighth grade math that you guys missed because you skipped before we take the state test. I want you guys to make sure you've seen everything that will be on there before. So we're going to come back to factoring in a couple of weeks. But I want to think about what is a factor? When you were first learning to multiply, your teachers were telling you that the two things that you multiply together is what are the factors, and what you get is the product. product. So a factor is what we multiply. And it doesn't have to just be two things, but I'm going to do an example going back to elementary school. Two and four are factors of eight. What we're going to be looking at today is going to look more complex than two and four or seven and three, but it's still the things that we multiply. And if we have eight, how would we find its factors? We would divide. So we're going to be doing basically an inverse operation of multiplication today to find factors. Okay, so now let's go back into the chorus or the verse. What did you guys see hidden here next? Yes. Oh, even before that, that is where the real directions start. But there's one more vocabulary word. It's right here. And we'll get to what that means in our next note taking. And then, how many of you highlighted terms lined up? Make them high to low. Look for what? Greatest common factor. This one has two terms with a minus in the middle. This verse we will come back to because we're not going to be doing this kind yet. We'll do that after our break from algebra in a couple weeks, but we'll still have the notes and we'll come back to this. Okay. We've got perfect squares, don't we? Both the digits have to be for perfect squares. And there's some examples. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. What are some other perfect squares you guys can think of? 64. 49. 30, 30, 30. Mm -hmm. OK. Then there is this right here, DOS. DOS stands for difference of squares. How do I find a difference? Subtraction. Subtraction. I want you to look right up here. There's the minus. That's letting us know it's a difference. And here's the squares. That's where the term difference of squares comes from. Again, tuck that back in your memory. We'll get to it later. Okay. Set up two sets. Put an X in each, minus here, plus there, and that's all I found in that verse. Okay, Mr. Winner's verse two. Honestly, we're going to be doing this with our work today. So if we've got three terms and a plus in the back. As we start doing the work, this will start making more sense to you guys, what his hints are. Your signs must be the same. We set up two sets, put an X in both. The signs in the middle shows up the most. Right here, three terms, a plus in the back, signs will double up. Put a star next to this. This line here is summarizing how we do these. I'm going to have you guys take a half sheet of notes on how, but basically what he just said right there is the majority of it. <clears throat> Here's the other version of three terms. Verse three. What did you guys find first here? Roots of the quadratic. 
GCF first. And I want you to cross out FOIL because we use a matrix to check our work. Probably wouldn't rhyme as well in the song. Check our work with a matrix. We'll do that today. What's next? An answer with two signs. So in, par in verse two, you have the same sign. In verse three, we have one plus one minus. He says this one's the hardest. I don't really think it is. So we've got three terms, a minus at the end. The signs will be different. Where they go depends. The larger of your numbers gets the sign from the middle. And as we start working with these, I think you guys will understand. So go ahead and fold this in half. We're not gluing today, but I do want this saved for your notebooks. Put the title of the song on the outside. And keep it handy for as we continue taking some um, notes. We're going to this next.